All right. Happy Valentine's Day to you guys. If that's something you enjoy celebrating, even if you don't have someone, it's always good to love yourself. But um, so this morning, we're going to go ahead and begin on our back. And if you have a strap or some kind of um, band, anything like that, grab that. If you don't have something like that, grab a towel. It can be a short hand cloth or um, a larger towel so that you can use it as a strap. But whenever you're ready, go ahead and rest on your back. You can let your feet, your legs be however you'd like, as comfortable as you can get. So soles of the feet can be down on the mat. The knees can be bent, or if you prefer long legs, or if you wanna tuck those knees into your chest, you can tuck the knees into your chest. Whatever you decide on though, just let your back rest comfortably and let the hips drop down. And then either let those arms rest to the side or even place them on your abdomen. Take a few inhales and exhales. They can be in through the nose and out of the mouth, just kind of giving yourself a cleanse, purging what no longer serves your higher purpose. And after a few inhales and exhales through the nostrils and out of the mouth, you can take your tongue, licking your lips, and then sealing them to one another. Begin breathing in through your nose and releasing that breath out of your nose. As you release that breath out of your nose, take the tip of your tongue and press it lightly to the roof of your mouth. As you press the tongue lightly to the roof of the mouth, you've created this channel for your breath to flow. So now constrict your throat and drag it back and forth where it creates this humming sound. It may sound like you're fogging up a mirror or that oceanic sound or for those Star Wars fans, your Darth Vader breath. Whatever it is for you, though, make it as audible as you're comfortable doing so. Do your best to unclench the teeth, relaxing the jaw, relaxing those eyes, and then just taking a few more moments here, letting yourself arrive comfortably. Noticing how the hips now can gently release, anchoring themselves into your mat. Perhaps even your arms now feel a little more comfortable. As you take this next breath in, draw it in fully, letting your abdomen grow. So imagine a balloon. And as you exhale, sigh that breath out, drawing the navel towards the spine without force, but just like something was set on your abdomen. Continue to release any stagnation that may remain in your belly. When you're ready, go ahead and blink those eyes. And as you blink those eyes, if your legs are straight, go ahead and begin to bend those knees and slowly Placing the soles of the feet down onto the ground, rock those legs from right side to left side. As you allow the knees to fall from one edge of the mat to the opposite edge of the mat, you're welcome to look over to one side and then the other side, or just keep your gaze up towards your ceiling. Come back to center, and as you return to center, heel toe your feet back towards one another. And on that inhale, extend that right leg up towards the sky. Let your hands wrap around that hamstring. Bend your knee and draw it into your chest. As you draw this right knee into your chest, you'll extend that left leg nice and long. As that left leg extends nice and long, you can flex the toes and then lift the heel off the mat if you need a little additional strength. Otherwise, just let your heel rest down on the mat. As you guide this right knee in towards your chest, keep squeezing and hanging in and drop that tailbone down. You're gonna feel it right at the crease of the hip, especially if you have really tight hips. Take one more inhale here and let that breath go. If you happen to have that towel, now's a good time to grab it or your strap. Take that strap, that towel, place it around the ball of your foot, and then inhale, extending that right leg up towards the sky. You don't have to keep it at a 90 degree angle, especially if your hamstring's really tight. You may even wanna release the strap and just hang on to the back of the hammy with your hands if that's your preference. Flex your toes as you flex the toes. You'll notice how you can elongate. Drop the tailbone down once more. If you're ready to draw the toes closer towards your face, that's perfectly fine. But if that's too aggressive, just let your heel come closer towards the bottom end of your mat. So again, this doesn't have to be a 90 degree angle. It's wherever you feel it. It could be way, your heel could be way to the bottom or it could be closer towards that 90 degree angle. Wherever you are, take a full breath in and then let that breath go. Two more, opening up that space through the hamstring, feeling the glute relax. 
And last breath in here. Releasing your hand or that strap from this right foot. Just let yourself hang on to the back of the hamstring in a couple of circles in each direction with that ankle. And then exhale, bend the knee, bring it once more towards your chest. As you bring it towards your chest, take your left hand and grab that right foot and slowly bring your right foot to the left side. And then with your right hand, hold on to the edge of your right thigh or even to the knee and gently guide this leg towards your chest. It might be slightly, it could be great. If you prefer to slide your right hand to your ankle and hook it underneath, and that's another option as well. But see if you can allow the knee to point over towards your right side. If you had the heel hovering on that left side, let yourself release it down. And if you prefer to bend the knee, bend the knee and let your foot rest on the ground. Take another two inhales here. Last breath in. And then let that breath go. And as you let that breath go, release and extend your right leg up. And then exhale, the knee comes towards your body and down to the ground. Letting yourself lift and extend the left leg now. Hands wrap around that hamstring. As your hands wrap around that hamstring, bend your knee and curl it in towards your chest. And then extending that right leg nice and long. Toes flex, heel can hover or rest it on the mat. Keep drawing that knee in towards your chest. If you feel yourself arching the spine, let your shoulders relax away from your ears as you keep guiding this left knee towards your heart. Big breath in, big breath out. Two more just like that. Tailbone releases. One more inhale. Go ahead and gently release. And as you release, take your towel or strap. Placing it around the ball of that left foot, extend that leg. And as you extend that leg, flexing those toes and finding your point where it feels good for your hamstring. Release that right heel down to the mat if you'd like, or keep flexing the toes, noticing what's going on. If you find that your left leg is dipping to the right or to the left, see if you can center it in the middle. Two more inhales here. One last big breath in. Go ahead and release that strap, bending the knee. And as you bend that knee, a couple of circles with your ankle in one direction and then the opposite. But only when you're ready, begin to slide this right left foot to the right side, bringing the edge of your left hand to the outside edge of that thigh. Again, you can slide your left hand to the ankle. Make sure you have your foot flexed. If it's, the toes are pointing, you might not feel the length of the stretch. But if it's too aggressive, then definitely relax your ankle. A full breath in. I'm letting that breath go. A couple more. And finalizing that last inhale. Go ahead and release. And as you release, extend that leg back up towards the ceiling. Hands can wrap around the hamstring, a few circles with the ankle in each direction. And then draw this left knee in towards your chest. Your hands wrap around that hamstring, excuse me, wrap around the uh, shin bone. And then take that right leg, bring it in as well. And as you bring it in as well, you'll rock side to side, just releasing that low spine. All on your breath and time, both legs will extend up towards the ceiling with or without your strap, your choice. And then feel your hips drop down, flex your feet, allow your toes to be soft even though your foot is flexed instead of pulling those toes aggressively towards your shin bones. Let your tailbone drop down. Two more inhales here. And then that last breath in. Now when you're ready, releasing your towel, your strap, knees in towards your chest, bring your chin towards your, <clears throat> towards your chest, and then go ahead and rock back and forth, maybe sitting up or maybe continuing to rock from top to bottom of your mat. And all on your breath and time, you'll go ahead and rise up and work your way into a tabletop position. As you come into that tabletop position, palms and knees are on the mat, Hips begin to wiggle from the right side to the left side, taking a full inhale and letting that breath go. 
As you take your next inhale, find center. And as you find center, tuck those toes and exhale, send the weight of the body back so that you're stretching the bottom of your feet. As you stretch the bottom of your feet, you can roll your little toes out as you exhale. Stay there for a breath in and a breath out. And then if you'd like to roll those toes back in, let yourself do so. And if you prefer more stillness, then find where it feels the best for you or continue to move in and out with the little blades of your toes. Two more inhales. Feel the lungs expand in the back portion of your body in the side. Let that last breath enter here and then let that breath go. As you take your next inhale, slide forward, lift your feet off the mat, maybe a few circles once more and then place the tops of the feet onto the mat. Lift your right hand off the ground, a few circles just to release that wrist. And then the back of the hand can come down to the mat. Your fingers point towards your kneecap and your thumb towards that left side. Send the weight of the body back. And then a few circles clockwise and then counterclockwise. You choose the direction you want to go first. Just to release the forearm, the wrist, give it a little bit of love. I know with us being stuck indoors during this icy time, maybe you're taking advantage of reading more books than you normally do. Or perhaps you're surfing the internet and the hand, the wrist feels a little tender. Go ahead and pause, release that right hand. Now switch it out, left hand. Take the back of that left hand down, slide the weight back and then start those small circles or they can be large circles as well. It's whatever feels right for you. You can also stay still or you can bring the fingers towards the thumb if you prefer. Just make sure that you're breathing, that you're not holding your breath. Finalize whatever you're doing and then release that left hand, a few circles to bring back that blood flow and plant that palm down. As you plant the palms down, tuck your toes under and on that inhale, a cow pose. Keep the ribs intact, retract the shoulders. So let your chest drop down and then lift your chin up. Keep that tailbone curled up towards the sky. Take another breath here. And then when you exhale, press the tops of your feet onto the mat, dome your spine. As you dome your spine, keep pressing the vertebrae up and out. One more inhale and that exhale here. And now we'll take it more fluid. Inhale, cow pose, soften of the elbows, shoulders pull back. Exhale, tops of the feet onto the mat, dome the spine to cat up. Inhale for that cow pose. Keep those ribs intact the whole time if possible. Exhale, catting it up. One last round. Inhale for that cow pose. Grip your finger pads into the mat versus pressing into the heels of your hands. Let that breath go, press that spine out, and then inhale, neutralize. As we neutralize, big toes stay together, tops of the feet onto the mat, slip the hips back, extend your arms forward, and bow your chest down for that child's pose. As you come into that child's pose, maybe create a little more space as you wiggle back and forth. And if for any reason your shoulders are really tight, you can also bend those elbows and let your hands stack on top of one another. Or if you prefer, walk those hands closer to one another, bend those elbows, palms come together, and then the thumbs can rest at the small, at the back of your head. Press into the elbows if you'd like, or the tricep so that you can get a little more length. Whatever you do, just two more inhales here. One last breath in. Letting that breath go. As you take your next inhale, if your arms are bent, extend those arms forward, lift your head up and work your way back into that tabletop position. From that tabletop position, curl your right toes under and as you inhale, extend that left leg behind you. As that left leg comes behind you, if you've lifted up extremely high, drop it down and instead draw your navel up and in, even if you need to use your hand. Take a full breath in here, extending that right hand forward and now you'll exhale, pull your elbow and your knee in towards your heart. Tucking the chin towards the chest, keep that dome spine as you exhale. Then inhale, lengthen nice and long. Exhale, pull it in, stay dome for another inhale. And that exhale. And then inhale, extend it long. Last one. Exhale, pull it in. Inhale, breathe here. Exhale, let it go. And then inhale, reach nice and long. On that exhale, drop your palm down. Slide your left foot over towards the right side. Look over your right shoulder and press your left hip to that left edge of the room. Take a full breath in. Let that breath go. One more inhale here. And let that breath go. As you take your next breath in, look forward. Keep your legs the way they are. Bend that left knee behind your right. Walk the knees to the middle of the mat. Send the blades of your feet out to the edges as far as you'd like. 
and then all on your breath and time, start sending the weight of the body back. Let your heart or your belly rest on your thighs and then drop the chin down as close to the knee as you can. Keep extending your arms forward. And if you need blocks or you need pillows or something to keep you elevated, then use those so that your palms can rest there. Otherwise, just keep your chest up. Try to drop some of the weight over towards that right side so that you can find that lean through that glute. Pull the shoulders away from the ears. Take a full belly breath in. Let your breath go. Take another full breath in. Let that breath go. Keep sliding that left foot out of the way so that left foot or that left heel is close to that right glute. And then you're just creating a little more space. Maybe you even take your right hand and reach for that left foot just so that you can shimmy your body a tiny bit more towards this right side. Big inhale here. Big exhale here. And your next breath in, both palms can come back towards the top. Lift the chest up. Return your right knee down to the mat. Extend that left leg behind you. Hook your right foot over towards the right edge of the mat. And then inhale, take that side plank. As you take that side plank, press the blade of your left foot to the end of the mat, extend that left arm towards the top. Pull the shoulders away from your ears, feel that long extension. I want you to feel that connection as you send the ribs up so that you can really open up through your right side. One more inhale here, looking anywhere it's comfortable for you. Let that breath go. Then inhale, lift that left arm up, all on your breath in time, lift that left leg up. You can keep that left leg as is, or you can curl the heel in towards your body or the knee in towards your heart. Sliding your hand towards your ankle, you'll grab on. As you hold on, again, gaze where it feels right. But feel that hip flexor opening up. So you're dragging this heel towards your hip, towards the glute, and you're pushing the kneecap away. Now engage the pelvic floor muscle for the ladies, perineum muscle for the gentlemen, and then gently tuck that left hip forward just slightly. It's a small movement. Relax the glute if you can. One more breath in and that breath out. On your next inhale, release. Extend that left leg, drop the hand down. As you rotate down, you'll begin to slide your left foot out towards that left edge of the mat and keep that right heel towards center of your body. Take a full breath in, press through the edge of that left foot, shift the weight slightly towards that left side. As you do, start to rock back and forth. If you have really tight inner thighs, your adductors, you'll feel it here. Decide when and if you'd like to release the hips back, the elbows down, and bow your chest down. You also can keep those hips elevated instead because you might feel it more intense through that area, but it's all up to you. I'll leave you to be the judge of what's needed for your body. Wherever you are, breath in and breath out. You can take this left hand towards that left leg if that feels right for you. And if it doesn't, just return it to where it does. Two more inhales here. Last big breath in. And let that breath go. All on your breath in time, those palms come down, the hips lift up. You'll slide this left foot now towards the edge of your mat and start walking it in between your right hand and your left hand until it's in the center. Allow that right foot to extend back. You're still on that knee. Draw a breath in. Let that breath go. And then inhale, start to lift and rise up for that low lunge. Keep this right knee in line with the hip. So if you need to shimmy it to the right or to the left, go for it. Imagine you're pressing the thigh out, but it's not super active. Big breath in here. And then exhale, pull the heads of the elbows down. As we draw the elbow heads down, lift through your chest. Feel yourself press the top of your right foot into the mat. One more inhale. And that exhale, then inhale those arms reach up. Exhale your hands, frame this left foot. Draw that breath in. Either tuck those toes behind you or lean them exactly where they're at. Start to send the weight of the body towards the back. Start to slide that left heel forward as you bow your chest down for that hamstring to lengthen. Toes can point or flex. You can let the blade of your foot rest to one edge if you prefer. If you need to rise up a little bit more, rise up a little bit more. This might be enough for you if you have walls that you can actually touch or maybe one hand's on the couch or a chair. And that's perfectly fine. But feel your left hip press back. And as that left hip presses back, feel the engagement as you gently keep a soft bend in this left knee so that you're not hyperextending the knee. 
Bow your chest down when you're ready. Maybe look to the toes versus curling your chin towards your chest. You might notice that there's different length or a different stretch for your body. Last two inhales here. Letting that breath go. One last inhale. And let that breath go. As you take your next breath in, rise up, fingertips into the mat, and then gently begin to slide the weight back, cross this right foot all the way over, excuse me, left foot all the way over towards that right side. Let your right and left thumb rest on the mat. Inhale, extend and reach that right arm up. And exhale, bring the back of your arm towards that outside edge of your left thigh. If this is too much, just take your hand and wrap it around the thigh and the knee and hang on to your hands or your wrist. Feel the length through the glute. Piriformis is deep in there. So if you allow that hip to anchor down to the mat, you'll find a little more release, hopefully. Big breath in and that big breath out. If you need a little more for your neck or your shoulders, look over this left shoulder. Last inhale. And then that last exhale. Take your time releasing, looking towards the front. And as you look towards the front, hands come behind you, both the right and the left leg extend forward. You'll inhale, circle, sweep those arms up, bend those knees as generous as you need. And then you'll exhale, release and fold forward. As you release and fold forward, looking towards those toes, maybe begin to lengthen the legs, a big breath in and that big breath out. Two more, inhale through the nose. Let that breath go. And last one. When you're ready, inhale, rise up, sliding those hands along the thighs. Two options, cross your leg into that easy seat, rolling over the shin bones, or just swirl the legs around and work your way back into that tabletop position. As you come back into that tabletop position, wiggle those hips right side to left side. Come back to stillness, curling those toes under, send the weight of the body back, stretch the bottom of your feet, just take notice of what's going on. Allow the little toes to roll out to the left and to the right. See if there's any length, if the sensations that you had earlier are the same or they're a little less. Inhale when you're ready, slide forward, lifting your feet, a couple of circles with those ankles. Wiggle those hips, bring those knees together. Tucking your left toes under, you'll inhale, extend that right leg behind you. As that right leg comes behind you, draw the belly up and in. So you're pressing out of your spine. You're engaging that core slightly. And then inhale, extend and lengthen that left hand towards the top. Big breath in and exhale. Pull the elbow and the knee in towards your heart. Stay here. Breathe in. And then exhale, lengthen it nice and long. Exhale, pull it in. Inhale, breathe in. Stay here as you exhale. Inhale, long. Last time. Exhale, pull it in. Inhale, release the breath, keeping it crunched. Inhale, extend and reach nice and long. Palm goes down, cross this right foot over towards that left edge, looking over your shoulder, pressing your hip over towards this right side of the room. Inhale through the nose, shoulders away from the ears, squeezing the thighs if you'd like. One more breath in and one more breath out. Keep the legs as they are. Inhale, look to the top of the mat. Bend that right knee behind your left. Walk the knees to the middle of the mat. Send the blades out to the edges. So let the blades of your feet start to rest on the mat as you slide back. Your chest connects to the thighs and then your chin can bow down as close to the kneecap or on that kneecap. And if it's not close, it's okay. If your heart is lifted up, that's fine. You stop at the point where you can still breathe, but you definitely feel a sensation. Keep sliding this right blade from underneath that left glute. If you wanna bring your hand towards that foot, left hand towards that right foot, you can. Continue to wiggle to make space. If the hips are still elevated, that's completely fine. One more inhale. Letting that breath go, sinking the hips back. If your hand is on your foot, Extending that right and that left hand forward. Inhale, look towards the top of the mat. Return your knees down to the mat. Extend and straighten your right leg behind you. Hook that left foot all the way over towards that left edge and then inhale for that side plank. As you come into that side plank, press the blade of your right foot 
towards the end of the mat and extend the right fingertips towards the top of your mat. Press and lift through the rib cage, breath in and a breath out. And then only when you're ready, arm goes up, lift and float that right leg. As you lift and float that right leg, you might need to adjust, curl the heel in or towards your belly and then grab the ankle or the top of your foot. Again, fill your belly button, draw in and push the hips slightly forward without creating too much of a banana back or that super arch spine. Kneecap goes out towards the end of the mat. Full belly breath in, fill that hip flexor. Bring the shoulder blades together closer if you can. Last inhale here. And last exhale here. Then inhale, release, blade of the foot down, circle sweep the hand back and around. Square the hip, slide your right foot all the way out towards that right edge. Once it comes towards that right edge, hook the left foot slightly to the center, palms are down on the mat. Adjust your body. So you might be over to the left side or you might want to shimmy to the right. Regardless of which you do, start to rock back and forth. And then when you're ready, send the weight either back or keep the hips up as the chest goes down. Feel that inner thigh releasing. You can extend that right hand to the right leg if you'd like. You can even massage or Maybe it's not really a great sensation, but release that IT band with the heel of your right hand. It's whatever feels right for you. Two more inhales where you're at. Last breath in here. Last breath out here. Palms back down to the mat. Hips lift up as the hips lift up. Slide your right foot closer to the edge of the mat until you're able to step it in between your thumbs. Once it's in between those thumbs, square the hips, draw a breath in, let that breath go, and then inhale, start to lift and rise up for your low lunge, steady the body. Keep that right femur engaged, pull that left hip forward. One more inhale here, and then exhale, elbow heads down, top of your left foot presses into the mat, you gently pull or hug that left hip forward. Inhale, both arms reach up, and then exhale, hands come down, they'll frame that front foot. As we frame that front foot, send the weight of the body back, straightening through you. Straightening through your left leg. Big inhale here. Big exhale. You can keep sliding that right heel forward, pointing the toes, flexing the toes, or sending the blade of your foot out towards the edges. Two more inhales. Last breath in. And then that last breath out. Only when you're ready, inhale, start to lift and rise up. As you lift and rise up, slowly begin to slide the heel back. As the heel slides back, <clears throat> you'll begin to slide your foot, this right foot over towards that left edge. Work the weight of the body down, all the way back and around. Take a full breath in, extend the arms up, ex excuse me, extend just your left arm up and then exhale, either that left arm comes over towards that right side or you can wrap your hand around the leg. Big inhale here. Two more. And then that last inhale, releasing. And as you release, your hands come behind you. Your legs extend towards the top of your mat. And if those legs extend towards the top of your mat, wiggle the legs out. Inhale, arms reach up. Exhale, folding forward, bowing the chest down, keeping those knees bent, letting your belly connect towards the thighs, letting your hands rest anywhere it feels right for you. Inhale, and let that breath go. One more. As you take your next inhale, start to lift and rise up, sliding the hands either along the thighs, bring the soles of your feet together. As the soles of the feet come together, if you need a little more intensity, draw the heels closer towards the pelvic floor region. If you need less, let the blades go rest on the mat and send the toes further away. Take a full inhale, hang onto the blades of the feet and lifting up through your chest. And then exhale, bow your chest down, send those elbows out to the left and to the right, just so that you can rest in either on the calves 
or perhaps even on the thighs. And if you prefer to grab your ankles, then that's perfectly fine. Big breath in and a big breath out. Do that a few more times. And then finalize that last inhale and that exhale. You're ready, start to lift and rise up. As we lift and rise up, we're gonna keep our legs just the way that they are. But if you had them a little more aggressive or a little more lengthening for the inner thighs, you'll slide the toes out towards the edge of the mat. Take your right hand, slide it underneath. Take that left hand, slide it underneath your legs. Palms can be down or you can flip your palms up as you press the back of the hands into the mat. Use the back of your arms to press into the thighs or the inner thighs. Draw a breath in, palms down if you'd like. Exhale, dome your spine, cat it up here. Inhale, lift it up for simulated cow, shoulders pull back, collarbones spread wide. Exhale, dome it. Inhale, lift it up. And last time you'll exhale to dome. And last time you'll inhale and lift up. Go ahead and keep that right hand where it's at. Slide that left hand out and then take the heel of your left hand. Place it about two inches or so above the kneecap and then start to extend the arm. As you extend the arm, drop the shoulder head away from the ear, looking over towards your right side if you'd like or even up towards the ceiling. Depending on where you have that tightness, you might feel it anywhere along the side of this left edge of the body to that neck. Another breath in. And that breath out. You can even take simulated cat cows. As you inhale, you can press the chest forward to that right corner. You can exhale, dome your spine, feeling it lift and extend out of the left side. Maybe once or twice more. And then come back to center. Now taking the heel of your hand, slide it up a couple more inches and then just give it a little massage. Slide it up a few more inches if you'd like and then maybe slide it up and down. You're ready, releasing. As you release, left hand goes underneath, right arm slides out. Take that right hand, press it about two inches again above the knee. Shoulder relaxes down, send the gaze of the chin over towards that left side, pressing the palm down or the back of the hand into the mat. Any simulated cat cow rounds that you'd like or just simply enjoying the length, it's up to you. Looking either up towards the ceiling, down towards the ground or rocking back and forth in cat cow motion. Two more inhales and exhales here. Keep those shoulders relaxed if possible. You're trying to fill all of the length of the side of the right edge of the body. And last breath in. On your breath in time, relax, and then take the heel of your right hand, sliding it somewhere about two inches up. You can rock back and forth, maybe another two inches up, and then start taking it down towards the kneecap just to release. Letting go, you'll bring both the right and the left hand down. Exhale, dome your spine just to find evenness in the body. And then inhale, looking forward. As you look forward, exhale, start to bow your chest down. Notice that there's additional length as you reach the crown of the head as you keep the sits bones anchored into the mat. Last breath in, last breath out. On your turn, press the palms, start to lift up. Take your hands to the outside edges of your thighs. Hands can rest behind you as the knees bend, windshield wiper to release the low back. As we release that low back, continue this movement until it feels right in your frame. As it begins to feel long or lengthened or released, find that neutral position and then allow the rest of your body to come down to the mat. As the rest of your body comes down to the mat, drop that tailbone, tailbone down, continue to rock from right side to left side. Take one more breath in, let that breath go. As you take your next inhale, come to center and extend your legs up towards the ceiling. Hold on to the backs of the legs, hold on to the toes or grab that strap if you prefer. Breathing in through your nose here and breathing out of your nose. Twirl the ankles if you prefer. All on your breath in time, knees bend in towards the chest. They come out towards the armpits and you can grab the blades of your feet for a little happy baby. Find a little playful rock as you move side to side or maybe extending those legs one at a time or at the same time out to the edges.
Pausing whenever you're ready. We'll go ahead and gently begin to release. Legs go up and then those knees curl in. Soles of the feet rest onto the mat until we're able to elongate them. Once they're lengthened, extend your arms over your head. Take that big good morning stretch. Arch the spine. And then as you exhale, let your arms come to the sides, bending those knees. And as we bend those knees, untuck that tailbone. Palms to your sides for a little bridge pose just to decompress. And as we inhale, we'll press the soles of the feet down, lift the hips up. You're welcome to take your hands to extend and lift the glutes up a little higher as you press those thighs up towards the sky. Release your hands if you'd like. A breath in, strength for our back, lean for our hip flexors. One more breath in, and then you'll exhale. I'd like to lift my heels and then slowly roll my vertebrae down. Rock my legs side to side. Come back to center when you're ready. Palms down, inhale, rise up for another bridge. Lift the hips, slide the shoulders in. If you want to interlace your hands, you can. Take a breath in here. Let that breath go. One more breath in. Let that breath go. Slide those hands out from underneath the body. Roll your frame back down to the mat. Rock side to side. Last one, we'll do one more. And if you prefer to slide pillows underneath and just let your body stay supported, that's fine. But inhale, lift it up. Make sure you're not holding your breath and that you haven't collapsed the chin completely towards the chest, that you're reaching through the heels of the hands or the fingers to the heels of your feet. One more inhale here. And then releasing. As you lower your back down, decompress by rocking once more side to side. You take your next inhale, bring your feet back towards one another, extend that right leg up, cross that ankle over to the left quad, lift the sole of that left foot, and then interlace in your hands. You can wrap your hand around the hamstring, or you can wrap your hand around your shin bone, your choice. Feel the gravity of the left knee coming in towards your body as that right one releases. Last breath in and release. As we release, you'll let the sole of your left foot rest on the mat, cross that right leg over, lifting the heel, grabbing the blades of your feet or somewhere down along the edge of your leg. Hug the knees in towards the body or if you prefer, hug the heels in towards your glute and then you can gently release the knees towards the top. So completely different length. If you're holding onto the blades and the knees are towards the chest, you're gonna feel it more on the glute than the hip flexors. If your heels are towards your glute and the knees are towards the bottom end of your mat. One more breath in. Let that breath go. Take your time as you release, extending those legs up towards the ceiling. On your breath in your time, curl the knees in, lowering the sole of that right foot down. Left leg crosses over for that figure four. Thread that needle when you're ready. If your head's lifted off the mat, take something to support it or perhaps just let the sole of the foot rest down on the mat instead. Try not to force any tension into the neck, the shoulders. So again, if your head is lifted, find support for it. Taking just one more breath here. Letting that breath go. Releasing when you're ready. Sole of that right foot down. Cross that left leg over. Knees pull in towards the body and you hang on to your legs. Find your choice of where you'd like the knees to go.
Last two inhales here. Releasing when you're ready. Legs extend up towards the ceiling. Those legs extend up towards the ceiling, knees curling towards the body. You can take a big morning stretch if you prefer or let the soles rest down on the mat, whichever feels right for you. And then slide your hands out, either cactus style or letter T, bending those knees. Slide the hips over towards that left side. Pull those knees in towards your body and then drop the knees to the right side as you let your right hand anchor that left leg down. Let your left shoulder rest on the mat as you take this soft twist. The more comfortable your shoulder is, the more comfortable your neck is, perhaps you can begin to look to that left side. Inhale through your nose. Sigh that breath out if you'd like. Returning the gaze back up towards the ceiling, knees neutralize and you'll switch it out. Send that right hip, left hip to that right side. Drop those knees to the left. Adjust the body. Maybe part of your spine gave a little crack. Once your right shoulder and your gaze feels comfortable, you can begin to look to that right side. And inhale here. And an exhale here. Returning to center, looking up, dragging those knees back to center, feet down to the mat. Release that low spine. Extend your legs nice and long or tuck those knees in towards your body, giving yourself one final hug, whichever you prefer. And then we'll release just for a moment to find just a little bit of quiet. Letting the body decompress, letting our breath become natural, more normal versus in through the nose and out of the nose. So take one more cleansing breath in and let that breath go completely. Give yourself permission to relax the jaw. Let thoughts be acknowledged, but allow yourself to set them free for just a few moments. You're welcome to remain where you are for a few more moments or even longer. If you're ready to rise up, start bringing more awareness into the body or take that deep breath in, side out, wiggle the fingers, the toes, your wrists and ankles, bend your knees when you're ready, rolling over to the right side. Take a breath if you're here in that fetal position. And when you're ready to rise up, press into that left palm, lift yourself up completely so that you arrive in a seated position facing anywhere you'd like. Take a moment for yourself to drop the chin towards the chest and maybe trace that collarbone from right side to left side. And then neutralize as you rise up nice and tall. Big inhale through your nose, big exhale out of your nose. Thank you for joining me. Have a wonderful day. Happy Valentine's Day to each of you. And feel free to turn your camera on or your mic if you have any questions for me. Thanks so much. Thank you. Thanks, Tina. Thanks. All right, Kathy and Adam, thank you. You guys have a great day as well. All right. So if you have any questions, feel free to, to uh, let me know, okay? Okay, thanks. All right, bye. Bye, thanks. Mm -hmm.